Hi guys, in this video I will show you 3 easy car effects you can do very quickly in After Effects. Let's begin with first effect, smooth mask transition. Go somewhere in the middle of your first clip and move the second clip under it like this. Now grab the roto brush tool and double click on your first video. Make a nice selection of the car and a background, but make sure to stay in line, do not select the whole background. We need to roto brush only this part of the video. Once you have finished selecting, click on freeze button. As the freezing has finished, go back to composition. Duplicate this layer, select the bottom one and remove roto brush on it. Now go to the moment where the second clip starts from. Select the middle layer and press T on your keyboard to open opacity. Click on opacity stopwatch icon to create a keyframe there. Now go a few frames forward and change opacity to zero. Create new camera. Move camera layer to the top of these layers. Then create new null object. Link camera to null object and enable 3D on all of the layers. Go to the moment where the second clip starts from and press P on your keyboard. Click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then go to the moment where the second clip is fully visible and start there scaling the video. Change position as well. Let's move the roto brushed layer all the way down. Select Roto Brushed Layer and press P on your keyboard. Make sure you are at the moment where the zooming has stopped, and create position keyframe at that point. Then go a few frames forward and move the position all the way down. Move second position keyframe to the very end of the layer. We are almost done. Enable motion blur on all layers. Let's now adjust scale and position of the second clip. Press P on your keyboard. Change scale and position on your wish. Let's check what we have got. Nice. Now let's open all created keyframes on all layers by pressing U on your keyboard. Now select keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Right click in graph editor and select edit speed graph. Nice, do the same to all keyframes. Mask transition is ready. Let's jump to second effect. Zoom in transition. Let's duplicate your second clip and pre-compose it. Name it to freeze. Now right click on it, go to time and select freeze frame. Then go to the moment from where you want zoom in to start and move their freeze layer. Cut that layer where the actual video starts from. Let's grab now a roto brush tool and double click on freeze layer, make a nice selection of the car to isolate it. Once you've finished selecting, click on freeze button. As the freezing is finished, go back to composition. Now go to the very end of freeze layer and press S on your keyboard. Click on scale stopwatch icon to create a keyframe there. Now go to very beginning of the layer and change scale to 0%. If you play back the video, you already have that weird zoom in transition. Let's fix it. Enable motion blur on freeze layer. Now select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. If it seems too slow like in my case, move keyframe like this. Now that's better. Let's add shake effects as zoom in transition ends. Select your actual video and add a Twitch plugin on it. Change amount to 40. Change speed to 20. Expand enable and select blur, light, and slide. Click on amount stopwatch icon. Now go a few frames forward and change amount to zero. Zoom in transition is ready. Let's jump to another effect. Zoom through transition. Go to the moment from where you want to zoom through to start and move there your second video. Now we have to mask the wheel, for perfect mask and tracking, I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha select ellipse tool and mask the wheel. As you finished masking, click on track button. Once the tracking has finished, click on save button and close the Mocha. Now expand matte and select, apply matte. Duplicate this layer, expand matte on duplicated layer and select, invert mask. Let's rename layers. First one rename to zoom. Second one, rim opening. Let's toggle off rim opening layer for a while. Create new camera. Move camera layer to the top of zoom and rim layers. 
Enable 3D on zoom and rim layers. Now go to the moment where second video starts from an expand camera transform. Click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons. Now go to the very end of the zoom and rim layers and select dolly cursor tool, start zooming all the way in. If you want to center the wheel, grab pan cursor tool, center the wheel and then grab dolly tool and zoom in until you don't see edges of the car. Zoom through transition is ready. Now let's make a rim opening animation and then smooth out the motion of the effect. Go to the moment from where you want rim opening to start and press P on your keyboard. Click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now go forward something like this and move rim position. Enable motion blur on zoom and rim layers to smooth the motion. Now select camera layer and press U on your keyboard to see created keyframes. Select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Now go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve. Select rim opening keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Then go to graph editor and make the same smooth curve. Nice, this was 3 easy effects you can do in After Effects. Check out my other car editing videos on the channel. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.